One day. Hey Jack, want to do something weird that will lead to a series of events worthy of creating a story about? Sure thing, but what should we do? Hmm. I can't think on an empty stomach. Let's get some food. What kind of food? Bacon! How are we going to get bacon without any money? I have an idea. Bacon comes from pigs, and pigs come from farms. So if we go to a farm, I'm sure we can find a pig and turn it into bacon. But how do we convince the farmer to let us take a pig? We don't. We steal the pig from the farm. That's such a complicated idea, Mitch. It's so complicated that my head would explode if I even tried to fathom how complicated it is. But let's do it anyways. The two of them drove out to the nearest farm, and they saw a bunch of pigs there. Jack saw a really, really fat one and said to Mitch, Mitch, let's take that. We could have bacon for life from that pig. Jack and Mitch went up to the pig and picked it up but barely because it was so fat. While they were carrying the pig to the car, the pig spoke to them. It said, What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, you can talk? Of course I can talk. I'm a pig. That doesn't explain how you can talk whatsoever. While Mitch was talking to the pig, Jack couldn't stop thinking how amazing the pig was. Excuse me, Mr. Pig. I'm sorry that my friend is so stupid. What we were doing was stealing you so you could live with us. No, that's not what we were doing. We were going to eat him. Mitch, this is the coolest pig ever. I want him as a pet, so don't mess up my chances. So, Mr. Pig, what do you say? Do you want to come live with me? Well, first off, my name isn't Mr. Pig. It's Mr. Clean. And second off, yes. Why is your name Mr. Clean? How stupid are you? It is because I'm a pig! The three of them went back to Jack's house. When they went back to Jack's house, Humphrey was surprised to see a pig with them. Why do you guys have a pig? He's my new pet! You're replacing me? Wah. No, I'm not. Wah. Yes, yes he is. Mitch, shut up! Wah. Everyone just stop crying! Mr. Clean isn't a replacement for anyone. He's just an addition to my collection of strange and extremely unanimal-like pets. His name's Mr. Clean? Oh, I get it, because he's a pig! So Mr. Clean became a part of Jack's weird family. But one night, Humphrey was very hungry and was craving some bacon. So he decided to try to eat Mr. Clean while he was sleeping. Humphrey started to nibble on Mr. Clean's leg, and as he did... Molasses walked into the room. Whoa, I don't even want to be in this story anymore. Humphrey, stop eating Mr. Clean right now! I'm sorry, I was just really hungry, Humphrey said. Mr. Clean was very upset at Humphrey, and from that moment on, the two of them stayed as far away from each other as possible. One day... Mitch was at Jack's house, and he noticed Humphrey and Mr. Clean avoiding each other. What's wrong with those two? Humphrey tried to eat Mr. Clean one night, and ever since, they've hated each other. Well, we were going to eat Mr. Clean before we learned how cool he is. I guess, but why does that matter? Maybe if we show Mr. Clean how cool Humphrey is, he'll start to like him more. It's worth a try. <coughs> I speak English, Jack. Oh, yeah. My bad. I think that maybe you should give Humphrey another try. He's really a good guy, and I think you two could be really good friends. Fine. I'll give him another chance. So Mr. Clean gave Humphrey another chance, because that's what he said he would do. And he didn't lie when he said it, meaning he gave Humphrey another chance. Him and Humphrey actually became good friends and would always hang out and do shenanigans and everyone was all happy and whatnot. Smiley face. Then one day, Jack came home with a big fat canary and said, 
Hey Humphrey, Molasses, and Mr. Clean, I just bought a canary named Kmart. His name is Kmart, because he's a canary. That's wonderful, Jack, but this story is over. There's no time left in this story for Kmart. Oh. Do-do, do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do.